Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of the Ocarina of Time. So, last time we finished the Forest Temple and rescued the Sage Saria. And before we move on, we are going to go back here to talk to Shike for a little bit. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. I really must apologize about this infernal buzzing. The video cable seems to not get the... Best connection anymore these days. It's such a pain. Especially because I think it's more noticeable now than ever before. Yeah, it is. Oh, give me a sec. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. So now... I'm going to do something I don't really look forward to. We're going to get the fourth bottle. To do that, we need to hunt for the ten big pose of Hyrule Field. Thankfully, I have drawn a map giving uh, the es estimated locations, because it's a crude map. But it will get me through, because usually I get stuck finding the last two for about an hour. Not this time. Last time I played, I drew a map. Then that got thrown away, and I had to make another one. Hooray. So let's go searching for them. First one should be around here. There it is. Ah, oh, fudge. All right, all right, got it. I thought for sure he was going to disappear. Yes, I want to catch it. There we go. Okay, Navi, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm doing something different. <coughs> Still, you can't say Navi's the most annoying. That honor goes to Fee. Oh, that is not the right Poe. Therefore, I must ask that you leave. Next one should be somewhere around this wall. Of course, maybe it won't appear while this Poe's around, so I should probably kill this Poe. I don't know why it's here. So, yeah, there's. Actually, there should be another pose somewhere around here. I never know the best way to aim for this one over here, so I usually just go here and hope for the best. 
Let's see if it works. Where's the pal? Wait a minute, I didn't even hear it spawn. Oh wait, that was the other pal. Yeah, I always get the feeling big pals usually only appear during the day. Which I don't think makes any sense. Oh no, there, there it is. Nice! I better hurry. If this big bow disappears, I'm gonna be mad. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make it. I made it. I made it. Yay! Yay! Maybe I should just call opponent over here. It's, it might be faster. Alright, that is two down. What Okay, just wanna make sure I had all ten locations on my map. And I do. Alright, so we are going to go over here for the next one. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna need to restock of arrows before this is done. Third post should be somewhere here. Somewhere. Probably let's get close to the water side. There he is. Okay, okay. Stop it, opponent. Stop it. Stop. All right, let's go. There we go. Hello, Poe. Now the unfortunate thing is every time I get three, I gotta go to Mr. Poe guy. Because I only have three bottles. Yay. Whoever wanted a whole Poe collection in your bottles. Obviously, this is what everyone uses bottles for. What, you mean you don't do it? Weirdos. Alright, we're back. It took an hour to get from here to there. In game time! Just the time moves really fast in this game. Really fast. Play any other Zelda game that has actual time in it, and then tell me this game isn't fast. Oh, you brought a bow today. Hmm, very interesting. This is a big bow. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> And this is basically what he says every time, so let's see if I can skip it. No, I cannot. I am that special of a person. <laughs> so you are. Well, here's another Poe. Ooh, it's another Poe. It's a big Poe, too. You are quite a Poe for a young man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm making a lot of money that I probably don't even ever need. Whatever. Yeah, as, and if you notice, you don't really need that much money in this game, like at all. <coughs> Pardon me. There's another one close to the ranch, but I. I think I'll hold off on that stray one. Let's go this way. Because most of these posts appear in sets of twos now. So I'm going to do just that. Next post should be coming up. One should appear by this tree. Now unfortunately that one doesn't give you a lot of time to actually shoot him. Unfortunately. And there's another big Poe very close to this one. Alright, let's try this one again. Aha! 
Big poles are the absolute toughest things to aim at. It's so easy to screw up. They never tend to move in a straight line. What? Why'd you appear that way? Oh my gosh, I hit him. And I failed to kill him. I hate these things. I only have seven arrows. Perfect. Thankfully, you can get free arrows through bushes. Hey, where are you? There you are. Alright, got you this time. But I've only got five arrows. Alright. Alright, next one is somewhere around here. I wonder if that was even the same one. I guess it was. Now, uh, where's this other... Alright. See? Very close together. At least this one had the decency to stay in a straight line. Alright. One more. I need some arrows. Let's find some bushes. Bushes. There's probably some around where the next Poe is. Uh, I think there's one by this tree. I was wrong. Oh, oh. I did not get any arrows for that. What the heck? Oh, there's more bushes. Well, let's not even try for that one right now. Where are the arrows when I need them? <coughs> oh, great. Another Poe that I don't even want to fight. I hate you, Poe. Go away. I don't have the arrows for you. Alright, fine. Ooh, arrows. It's not much, but it's something. Ha! Alright. This is why you can't wander around the world by foot. It only gave me five. Mm-hmm. There is another post somewhere around here. I just don't remember where, apparently. It's not good news. And now this one isn't even appearing. There it is. I hate these things! Ugh. Why are these so tough to aim at? I hate it. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh my. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's six down. Now I could war, but I want to try and find some arrows on the way back, so, uh, um, Where can I look for arrows? Oh, da, 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 I can't even get him. What am I thinking? Come on, there's gotta be some bushes somewhere. Ah! I'm pretty sure you get arrows from these more often. Stop moving. Okay, some arrows. It's mostly rupees. I don't need rupees. Look at how many I've already got. Oh, whatever. Hey, 
Alright. There we go. I ought to buy some, I guess. I don't know. Won't help fighting the Redeads. They usually only give magic. I suppose these pots won't give me anything either. Oh, yay! Hearts! Something I need even less! Hey, here's your bow, you stinking man. Uh. At least it's a good time to drink your water, your H2O, your whatever you want to call it. Your clear liquid. It's very clear. How's your water today? Mine is clear. I wish I could skip this. I don't need to read it ten times. Why? You think it would get very boring? I find myself to be quite an interesting character. <laughs> uh, y you are creeping me out, man. I, I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I maxed down on rupees. This is as many rupees as you can hold. Yep, this is it. Alright, I guess I'll go for the lone one by the Lawn Lawn Ranch now. Should be passing the tree on a specific angle. Uh, first, 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 I want to try and get some arrows out of this. Okay, there are some arrows. Now I at least have over ten. Alright, let's go. Alright, up here for me, Poe. I'm too afraid to go fast now. Should be cutting through this way. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> this is number seven. Hello there, mister. I'm going to take you. Here's your new home. It's this bottle. You'll get a new home soon, but for now, this is your new home. I hope you appreciate it. Alright. Next set of big pods. There should be one around this wall. So by going this way, a big po should appear. Or not. Gosh, my map isn't helping enough. Hmm. Oh, there we go. For some reason, you have to touch that very specific point of the wall. Well, this is number eight. Here we go. Come to me. Yes, I want to catch it. Duh. I'm killing big holes. What do you think I want to do with it? Eat it? Can you eat them? I don't think I want to try. I know you can eat regular pose, but big pose is only 10 of these in the whole game, and I want to get that fourth mile. Fourth one, ninth one should be somewhere here. Yep. Ow, oh, biscuits. Biscuits and grapes. Biscuits and grapes. Perfect. Alright, let's try to. Wait. I should try to get more arrows. Wow, it actually dropped a few this time. Yeah, I got 10 out of that. Nice deal. All right, so let's head over here. All right. Well, there's only one more to find, but unfortunately, I can't get it right now. Yay. I hope this video will prove to be a very valuable on your quest to 100% this game. Finding all the big poles can be quite a challenge. 
Unfortunately, I don't know how long it'll take me to find the last one. I believe it's somewhere in those red trees in the southern portion of Hyrule. According to my map, it is. Just don't know exactly where in that. Alright, let's, let's just return them. I'm so saving when this is done, just in case anything bad happens. Cause, oh boy. Gosh. This is hard work. Right, Cedric. Oh, you brought the pole today. Hmm, very interesting. This is a big pole. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. I see your wallet's full, but take it anyway. If it falls on the ground, it falls on the ground. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, you have another big bow. You are a very skillful bow hunter. <laughs> I can rely on you. I could hire you part-time for 50 rupees an hour. You'll be a very rich man indeed. So what do you say? <laughs> It's a pretty cool bargain, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, thanks! This guy, he is freaking me out! <laughs> Hi, opponent, let's just find this last pole so we can never do business with this guy ever again. You're lucky you never have to see him. The, the, the sun setting. Hooray! I'm doing fine with arrows right now, anyhow. Alright, so let's head to the group of red trees. Why they are red, I have no idea. Everything else is green. Is it just fall in that one random section of high roll? Alright, let's find it. It's somewhere in here. It is somewhere in here. It's probably near the hole. It was not near the hole. Okay then. Hmm. All I know is it's somewhere around here. It's probably a certain group of trees I have to pass through. Okay, that one, I guess. Alright, that's the last one! The, 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 the sun's rising already? Gosh. I really should time it. Oh, wait! I basically timed it just by recording. Alright, so I think you have to pass this tree from this side. This or this one. Either way, it doesn't matter. I can end this Poe hunt and get my fourth bottle. Oh, right. This is an incline. Maybe this bottle isn't necessarily worth it. You can most certainly beat this game with three bottles. But for the completionist factor, a bottle isn't necessarily a bad prize. For something like this, you'd probably be hoping to get at least a bottle or a piece of heart, nothing else really. Alright, well, let's just turn it in. Or maybe you could get a quiver, considering you have to use arrows to do this. But you also need bottles to do this too. And what else is going to get you a bottle? Oh, no, no. Here. Oh, you brought a bow today. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. This is a big bow. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. You have earned 1,000 points. Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. 
Is that what you expected me to say? <laughs> because of you, I have extra inventory big balls. So this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earn a thousand points. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. The fourth bottle. Definitely the toughest one to get. Gosh. Now, how about working part-time, man? Oh. I'm not working part-time for that, doof. Alright, so... That was the big <clears throat> ghost hunt. We'll be moving on to Kakariko in the next video. Until then, this has been Tales 109, and have a nice day.